Hey folks, Kevin the Fish Chef here from Fit Chef TV, ready to show you another great recipe to help you flex on your next meal. Today I got something real special for y'all. Today we're gonna have one of my personal favorite meals. This is a little bit healthier than what we've done in previous episodes, so you're gonna really like this one. This is gonna be a pan-seared salmon over a cheddar jalapeno grits with a nice hot homemade tomato jam. So stay tuned, I got something great for you guys. So the first thing we're going to make for this meal is going to be our homemade tomato jam. It's going to have a nice bit of sweetness, a little bit of tartness and acidity from the jam, I mean from the tomatoes, and then we're going to add a little bit of sugar to it to make it nice and sweet. This is going to add a perfect balance to that nice beautiful piece of salmon right here. And of course with the cheddar jalapeno grits. First thing you're going to start off with, you're going to start off with one pound of Roma tomatoes. Best way to do this, cut them in half, go on lengthwise, and cut it in half again. So you're going to end up with four quarters. When you get these four quarters just like this, you're going to go through and you're going to cut that in little portions. So you should get about 16 little chunks out of each tomato. And I got a saucepan right here. And you want about a medium high saucepan. Put it on medium high heat, just like so. So I'm going to put these tomatoes in there. I'm going to get two cloves of garlic and smash those guys. Smash those guys. Give me a little chance to flex on TV, right? Absolutely. So I'm going to chop these up. Get a little bit of garlic put in there. And of course, we're gonna add the rest of these tomatoes in just a second. Then you're gonna get an onion. And so you're gonna take an onion and you're gonna get it and you're gonna small dice it in small chunks. And put this guy down here in the trash and kill this guy. Peeling onions is always the most difficult thing. You have to get up underneath that skin and really kind of pull it out. There we go, perfect. So keeping the root ball intact, hold it down kind of lengthwise, go through. And you're gonna do little sections just like this, right on down, perfect, there you go. Then turn it sideways and go in crosshair, and you're gonna cut it in smaller chunks, just like that. Of course, the little root ball piece, throw that in the trash. And then we're gonna put this over here into our pot. There we go. Then, with the tomatoes going, so obviously I'm gonna dice up these rest of these tomatoes. I'm gonna put a little pinch of clove. This is ground clove. You want about an eighth of a teaspoon. And then you want about an eighth of a teaspoon of allspice. Now allspice berries, it's one of my favorite, favorite spices for some reason. Reminds me of uh, the Caribbeans, right? A little bit of a, uh, little bit of crushed red pepper to go in there. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of salt. So I'm gonna add about a half a teaspoon of salt. Let me move this out of the way just so you guys can see. So we got this saucepan here. So what's gonna happen is you're gonna need to let this tomatoes kind of slow cook for about 20 to 30 minutes. So this is gonna be the longest part to this dish right here. So it's gonna take a little while, but when those flavors really start to come out, you're gonna start to smell that allspice, you're gonna smell that clove, the little spiciness from the crushed red pepper. By the way, I'm gonna add a little bit more extra acidity to it. I'm gonna put in a little bit of lemon juice. Obviously, these are some really big lemons, so I'm not gonna squeeze much in there. You're looking for about a tablespoon or so, and then you're gonna add about one cup of just plain old granulated sugar. So the sugar is gonna go in there, and then we're gonna let this reduce down to us nice and thick. I'm gonna chop up the rest of these tomatoes right quick, and then when I get done with that, I'm gonna show you how to make these grits, all right? All right, so, Tomato jam is starting to reduce down for a good bit. I got all these tomatoes in there. So we're reducing this down for a good 15, 20 minutes. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move this guy over here and put it on low. That way I can go ahead and get started on these cheese grits, all right? So to start off with the grits, you want about a, about a medium high heat. You're gonna take two cups of half and half. That way you get a little bit of cream, a little bit of milk, and you're gonna add a little bit of water to it. And you're gonna put that into this saucepan. And then you're gonna take about one to two tablespoons of chicken base. Now what you can do, instead of using one cup of water, you can use one cup of chicken stock and you can skip this whole entire process right here. I'm gonna add in the chicken base in there. You can buy this uh, chicken base anywhere, any grocery store where like the Bouillons is located. And then we're gonna add in a little bit of salt. And so what we're gonna do, we're gonna add about uh, two teaspoons of salt into this. I'm gonna grab a whisk, that way I can get this guy going. And we're gonna bring this to a boil. So when you bring this to a boil, that's when you're gonna get ready to add your grits into it. So I'm using a nice, good, yellow stone ground grit that I'm gonna add into this guy right here. That way, get it nice, silky smooth. We're gonna add a little bit of cheddar, a little bit of pepper jack cheese, and then we have a cheddar jalapeno 
grit is gonna go great with that salmon right there. So, I'm gonna let this come to a boil real quick and then uh, come right back. All right, so it looks like the half and half, the water, all this is starting to boil up really nice here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slowly add these grits into this pot while whisking the entire time. If you add your grits too fast and you don't whisk, you're gonna end up with a bunch of clumps, it's gonna look really messy, all that kind of un unfun stuff, right? So I'm gonna turn this down to a very low temperature. And so grits, if you're from the south, you know it takes a good while to cook a nice grit. So I'm gonna put this on low for about 10, maybe about 10 minutes or so. And so I'm gonna get this guy going in there. I can already tell, oh, this is gonna be really good right here. So we got these guys going. I'm gonna end up adding a half a cup of pepper jack cheese in just a second. I'm gonna add a little bit of a half a cup of cheddar cheese and about a half a stick of butter to this to really make it nice and silky smooth. Now what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put a lid on this guy. I'm gonna slide it over here to the right and put it on very low and let that guy sit for a little while. I'm gonna put clean up just a minute. Get some of this stuff out of the way right here. I'm gonna show you how I pan sear salmon my way, right? So, make sure you get a hot skillet going just like this. We're gonna get it hot. You want about a good, real high, probably high heat. And we're gonna add a little bit of olive oil to it. Just regular old EVOO, you know, good old olive oil. You can have that guy go in there. And you wanna really coat. The secret to cooking a good pan seared salmon is you wanna make sure your pan is hot and your fish is dry. All right, so this right here is some nice, fresh, just good old Atlantic salmon. And all I'm gonna do with this right here is I'm just gonna sprinkle it just with salt, just like this. You don't wanna add too much seasoning because I actually wanna taste the flavor of the salmon. I don't wanna taste a bunch of different spices and seasonings because we have that going with the tomato jam. We also have that going with our cheese grits. So that way we just taste the fish and we can actually enjoy it. And we're gonna season both sides, a little bit of salt on each side, just like this. That pan is getting nice and hot. This pan, as you can tell, is starting to get really hot. You can see it almost kind of smoking. This is what you're gonna do. So you're gonna put the skin side down and you're gonna go down, you're gonna start it, and you're gonna put it away from you. That way you don't have any oil splash up on you. That way it doesn't burn you in any way. And what I'm gonna do, plan here, is to get about three to four minutes on each side. So that's gonna start cooking for a second. My grits are getting really nice and delicious here. My tomato jam is almost reduced down. I'm gonna clean up real quick and I'm gonna show you how to plate this up. All right, so our salmon is starting to get nice and toasty, get a nice good sear on one side. You're gonna do about three, maybe four minutes on each side. While that's going, before I flip it, I'm gonna take the look at these grits right here. I'm gonna add in a half a stick of butter, which is roughly about a quarter cup of butter. Then I'm gonna add in about a half a cup of freshly shredded pepper jack. Make sure you shred it yourself. Don't buy any of that store-bought stuff because it has that uh, sawdust on it, actually. Then I'm gonna add some cheddar cheese to this guy, and I'm gonna get it in here, and I'm gonna whisk this up and stir it up really nice. Oh, this is gonna be absolutely amazing. I can really take a look at this salmon right now. Salmon's looking nice and delicious. I'm gonna go in this guy, make sure it doesn't stick to the bottom of the pan, flip it over. Oh, that is a glorious looking piece of salmon right there. So, personally, I prefer my salmon to be a nice medium. So, four minutes on each side for a salmon this thick. Now, if you have one that's a little bit thinner, you might wanna take a little bit less time to it. If it's a little bit thicker, obviously you're gonna need a little bit more time with it. So, cheese grits are going. All that butter is getting in there. Melting this up really nice. Then we have our tomato jam going. This fish is going right here. I got a nice plate I'm about to use. And uh, let's plate this guy up, all right? So, these grits right here are gonna be, oh, got a little drip there. Here we go. Nice cheesy grits, perfect. All right. Salmon's got a nice cook to it. I love it, it's looking great. You can put it directly across the top, just like this right here. I'm gonna grab tomato jam. Oh, and this thing's so good too. You got all that spice in there, that allspice, that clove, get that garlic, get a little bit of onion to it, and put this directly across the top, just like there. There we are. And then I got some 
a little bit of garnish here. This is going to be some uh, shaved scallions, some green onions. Go right on top. And look, there you have it right here. This is a phenomenal meal that your family, your friends, everybody will love. So be sure to try it out. And uh, if you like this recipe, stay tuned. We got a whole lot more coming. You can always check me out on uh, Facebook, Instagram, Kevin the Fit Chef. Also, if you really like this recipe, be on the lookout for a cookbook I got coming out later on this year, 2022, right? So check us out. Until next time, guys, we appreciate y'all.